There are cars lined up probably for hours in this traffic jam. We see everyone getting this, so we had to try it. That is hot water. Brazil has definitely changed my view of beaches. Okay, so we have eggs, a polenta, some of these sausage, and yuca. Very typical here. Okay, we have some crackers, a bunch of different pastries, and fruit. So most of the breakfasts we get at these pousadas and hotels in Brazil are great. It's a full spread of all this stuff. So always have a little polenta, some eggs. A lot of times they'll make you omelets if you want it or make you like a tapioca, some yuca, and a bunch of good looking fruit. What's interesting is a lot of the spread that you see a lot of times it is a bunch of cakes and pastries, things like that. Things that we would usually eat for dessert, but uh, in Brazil I guess they eat it for breakfast. So sweet, really dense cakes, which we don't usually eat, so you can't really comment on most of those. Today we're pretty excited. We're exploring Maragogi. This area has a ton of beaches, as most places in Brazil, but they are incredible looking, if the pictures tell us anything. So we're kind of backtracking today a little bit. We're going an hour back south to go to São Miguel dos Milagres. Uh, this is in between La Salle and Maragogi. So, a lot of people have been telling us to go to this beach. We are going to dedicate a whole day just to hang out here because it's supposed to be that amazing. So we have an hour and a half drive about and we'll see you at the beach. So one thing that's proven to be a little bit difficult as we've been on this road trip is when we try to do research on these places, we really can't find that much information. I think it's because mainly Brazilians come here on vacation, but maybe not a lot of other tourists. I'm not really sure, but we can't find a lot of information in English. So a lot of you guys have been super helpful on where we should go and different tips. One person in particular, Lucas, has helped us plan basically this whole itinerary and has been just amazing. He's also a filmmaker. We're going to link his Instagram below. Go check him out. Lucas has been extremely helpful and we're really glad that we've had him. He's basically helped us with our entire itinerary and helped with pronouncing things. Not that we do it well <laughs> now, but Still we would failed. be worse. We would be worse if he hadn't <laughs> helped us out. Uh, so yes, thank you to Lucas. Thank you to all of you guys who have really mm -hmm. helped us out planning our itinerary and stuff because uh, as Lindsay said, especially when you get out of like the main touristy areas, it's very hard to find any info. So if sometimes we don't have a ton of information on the place, it's probably because we had trouble finding the information in the first place, so we do the best we can. Also, we probably wouldn't have had the confidence to go around in a car to go around Brazil without the encouragement of our subscribers, so thank you to everyone. on both sides and then there's two cars going each way so you have to fit four cars on one road and that has proven to be a bit difficult. We just found a parking spot and we're so thankful. 
there are cars lined up probably for hours in this traffic jam. We were stuck in it for about half an hour, but if you're coming the other way, it looks like they'll probably be in that at least an hour. They are barely moving. They're not really moving. Yeah. So, so we got lucky. We're going to park here, go to the beach, and probably spend the whole day there. And hopefully this traffic jam resolves by the time we get back. So I just went to a convenience store and I got this little bottle, this little cocktail. It's called Bejo Bebida Alcohola Mista. Don't really know what's in it, you can't really tell. There are different flavors, but it doesn't really show you. It doesn't look like it even says what kind of fruit or anything. As I read it, it says that it comes with alcohol, sugar, and other things that I don't understand. <laughs> So this was four rail, so that is less than a dollar. That's extremely cheap for any drink, but a drink with alcohol in it, I don't know how it gets that cheap. One nice thing, when you travel to a lot of other countries, they don't card you. So you can just buy alcohol without showing your ID. So because of traffic, we couldn't get down here. We just did like a 20 minute walk, but it looks like we could have parked right here, yeah. right next to the beach. The traffic jam <laughs> blocked us off from turning down here, but. Uh, nice little walk in the sun. We need some exercise. even from here because it's so crystal clear you can see the little spots where there's coral or rocks under the water you can only see that when it's extremely extremely clear so we're gonna have to find some goggles so we can go snorkel and see what's underwater people who park their stuff right in the water. It looks like they're on land right now. beach football right there. They have these sticks set up with, for little goals. So the water is beautiful over here, but if you walk a little bit further, you can see even from here that the color changes completely. And it is extremely vivid over there. There are less people, whiter sand beaches, and that's where we're going. One unique thing about this beach that we can't seem to figure out is there are a bunch of sticks just sticking up out of the water. Don't really know why. Doesn't seem like anyone's using them for anything. Sometimes they're for hammocks, but sometimes there are a lot of them in a row. Maybe it's could, just for a barrier. Could be a barrier, could be water levels. We don't know. What do you think this is? Okay, since we have a little bit of a walk to get over there. I think we will try the Beijo <laughs> juice, alcohol, cocktail before we get there. Okay, vodka, com, sugar, and something else. Mmm. <laughs> that is very sweet, very alcoholy but the flavor is awesome. It's like a, it tastes like a blue raspberry or something. 
it's gotten kind of warm, but if this was cold and had some ice in it, that would be amazing. I'm sure we can get drunk off of just this one. We found one of the only little spots on the beach with a little bit of shade. All the other ones were taken. Shade is definitely needed though. <laughs> and it's not enough for both of us. saltier and for some reason the water feels softer maybe that's because of the salt contact which probably means we can float more easily too the problem that Lindsay has <laughs> i don't know how to float gracefully <laughs> brazil has definitely changed my view of beaches i think before i came here i thought oh you know a beach is a beach but that is so not true we've gone to probably around 40 beaches We've gone to at least 20 beaches so far in Brazil, and each one has its own unique characteristics that make it special. This one, it seems like it's special during low tide with the natural pools and the warm water and the color of the water. Seems like there's nowhere left to go. I mean, how many different types of beaches can there be? We feel like we've seen them all, but I have a feeling Brazil is still going to surprise us. Yeah, it's supposed to be extra salty because I can't stay down. We saw people walking out here, standing up, and the water only went up to their waist. like a dream, doesn't it? Nothing out there. I didn't know beaches like this actually existed. It looks like what you see on a postcard. And it feels like a postcard. So warm. <laughs> we needed this. Believe it or not, we've been a bit stressed with our busy itinerary and long road trips, so this is one of our first full days to just be at the beach the whole time. It's about 3 o'clock, we still haven't eaten lunch, so we're going to go in search of some lunch. Who knows what we're going to find, we don't really know around here. <laughs> if it's going to be a restaurant or a little hut or some street food, something on the beach, don't know. Wish us luck. Yeah. Right now we have to walk towards the crowds of people because that's where the food's coming. Leaving paradise. We, <laughs> we don't want to leave. Maybe we'll come back right after we eat. Once again, it's 
about a ton open today around here, so we're gonna stop here really quick for some acai. Cool little place, side of the road. We just got our acai and I decided to try something different. I added the powdered milk. We see everyone getting this, so we had to try it. It's good, it adds a little texture. It's milky, has a little vanilla flavor. You wanna eat this in the car? Or? Yeah. guys welcome to Q&A if you have a question you want answered in a future video leave a comment below and we'll try to get to it in a future video Alex you want to start us off first one is from Wayne Taylor any recent videos of Mr. Potato Head or am I limited to holding up my t-shirt <laughs> so Mr. Potato Head is a stray dog that we took in in Peru and we found him a home he was with us for a good four or five yeah. Four six months, months yeah. a, good, a good amount of time um and yeah we're gonna have to post very soon a an update video we maybe get, in we this. get some yeah maybe right yeah. here potato And Wayne mentioned a Potato Head t-shirt. We made some merch from Potato Head uh, under Teespring, which is probably in the description below, right? Yeah, it is. So, so. <laughs> Teespring is linked below. If you want a Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head t-shirt or mug, coffee mug or something yeah. like that, uh, it's down below. And Alex is actually an artist. So we've been talking <laughs> about, we want to make some new merch designs on t-shirts. If you have any ideas of things you'd want on a t-shirt, from Alex John, let us know. That's something that's in the works. Okay, the next one is from Kazi Cup. Christmas in Salvador, Brazil. Hooray. Lindsay, did you think three years ago that you would spend Christmas 2020 with the love of your life in Salvador, Brazil? 100% no, would not have guessed that. That's one of the things I like about life is you never really know where it's gonna take you. So three years ago, I was in cold Minnesota, working as a nurse, living a normal life, which wasn't bad, just very different than what I'm doing now. I'm glad you asked just Lindsay that because I would say, yeah, I would expect <laughs> probably exactly that. Maybe not the exact location or circumstance, but. But I probably would have figured I'd be somewhere random in the world with someone I love. <laughs> yeah, and actually though, that was your first time away from home during Christmas, so. Maybe that would have no, been surprising. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, usually I go home for Christmas every year, no matter where I am in the world. And this year it was just too difficult to get home with COVID and all of that. So yeah, it was the first Christmas away. Yeah, it was a good one. Different though. Okay, the next one is from Waldemar Hamburgo. Uh, Before we know it, we all have an image about a place. Do you still have the same about Brazil, even though you haven't known a little bit about it? Uh, I think he might be asking if our image of Brazil has changed from before we got here to mm -hmm. when we're here. And we've talked about this a few different times, but just to summarize real quick, uh, for me, it's way different than I would have expected. I didn't know Brazil was so diverse in the kind of like nature they have here with mountains, beaches, rainforest, um, sand dunes, you name it. They have it here. Snorkeling, coral reefs. <laughs> I meant to say coral reefs. <laughs> Yeah. Snor I'm gonna redo it. Snorkeling. You can cut it. Brazil is pretty much what I expected, <laughs> except a little better. Pleasantly surprised by the people of Brazil. But as far as how it looks and things that we've been doing, that's pretty much what I expected. Just, just better. <laughs> Alex doesn't get surprised very easily by things that happen in his life. <laughs> Next question comes from Vitor Jaquis. Can you tell me something that you guys didn't like in Brazil? Love you. I'm literally watching all the videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching all the videos. Awesome. Something that we didn't like. 
Um, one thing that I have not liked is driving on the pretty bad <laughs> roads. Yeah. I don't even know if most Brazilians have seen some of the roads that we've been on, <laughs> but we have been on some very bad ones. Ones that were very hard on the car. We almost got stuck several times in sand mm -hmm. traps and potholes and just dirt roads that make your car go lost. all different directions. Getting lost. Yeah, Google Maps in, in Brazil is not good. So Google Maps in Brazil is something I don't like. <laughs> um, and uh, you have something? Um, maybe just the safety component. Um, we haven't really had any bad experiences, but we've been extra cautious. I don't know if I would travel here as a solo female. Maybe just certain areas I would avoid. There have been some parts of Brazil where you don't have to worry at all, and that's great. But I don't know, maybe that. It's just based on what we've been told many, many, many times. I mean, you guys tell us in the comments, like, if we use Google Maps to drive through certain areas, we might accidentally end up in a favela yeah. and it can be very dangerous in favelas this is all again things that we've heard from you guys you know brazilians don't like to hear other people say that their country is dangerous yeah. and we're not saying that it we're is. saying, from we're what saying we've that heard. we hear it yeah. constantly so it does put us on edge uh it makes it so like i can't bring out my good camera that often mm -hmm. i have a camera that i love filming on but instead i just have this dinky old gopro and that kind of sucks for the cinematic yeah. aspect that our videos could have. But. Yeah. So, I mean, it's harder to think of things that we don't like about Brazil because we, we love like pretty much everything. <laughs> but yeah. if we had to answer something, this is how we would answer, honestly. So. Okay, next question is from Marcelo Souza. If you guys could have one thing from Brazil, like a food, a drink, an object in the U.S. that you usually don't have there, what would it be? Hmm. I'm sure easy. you guys will have no idea what we're about to say. Um, you say one. I'll say one of the things. Yeah, coconuts for <laughs> coconut water. We yep. have boxed coconut water that they serve in stores in the U.S., but it does not taste the same. Not I actually thought close. I actually thought that I hated coconut water because that too. was the first type that I tried, and so I was like, oh, I'll give it a try here, fresh, see if it tastes different. And yeah, the flavor is unmatched. Um, and I love it here, but... Nope. I didn't really like coconut water until mm -hmm. I came to Brazil. I I tried it in Costa Rica recently, and I was thinking, okay, maybe I can like coconut, coconut water, coconut products, after pretty much hating it most of my life in mm -hmm. the U.S. But coming here to Brazil, we are having coconut water every day, <laughs> and we love it. Like, it's hard not to have it some days. We're becoming obsessed with that. Yeah. Which leads us to acai <laughs> is the other thing our second favorite the good color. acai in brazil the price of the acai so we do have acai in the in the u.s mm -hmm. but it is way too expensive and hard to get so those are two things that we wish were readily available and as cheap <laughs> hands down those US. are the two things that stand out for sure yeah we'll miss them guess we'll have to come back to brazil mm-hmm all right, that is it for the Q&A today. We will see you in the next video. So as you guys know, we post on YouTube as much as we can, but we also have little video clips and photos that we can't post on YouTube. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And make sure you subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with, with you.